Hey guys, welcome back for another great Reddit cheating story. You won't believe what she did to him, even though he saved her life and her baby. Let me know in the comment how you would have reacted. And now, without losing any more time, and assuming you subscribe to this channel. Story 1. Published by cultural underscore cap 1776. Make sure to check my number one secret for healthy weight loss by clicking the link in the description. Married for 10 years, and those 10 years were all a lie. My wife and I are in our mid-30s. And my story start like this. I started dating her 10 years ago. Find her in the most inhumane ways possible with a baby in her arms. I fell in love. Not with my wife, but with the baby that was one year old. Not even walking yet. I decide to help them. And every day, I just got more attached to the baby and my wife. During that time, I took care of everything, and took that baby as my own. I had no child at that time. So that little girl made me a dad. I started to see her mom in a more romantic way. We started dating. What bad could happen? She was a single mom with a child. And she couldn't take care of her on her own. I was the charming prince who saved them. We dated for almost two years before I decide to properly propose to her. I went to her parents, brought the ring, thinking I needed the parents' blessings. I worked one extra year to give the woman I love the wedding she deserved. Everything was great. I was so happy and so were my wife and the baby girl. But in my story, life was anything but fair. And my wife is the one that ended up letting me down. I guess it happens. We got married. She eventually became a nurse, and I'm proud to say that she did it on her own. I never intended to make her feel like she owned me anything. Because I did it on my free will. Expecting nothing from my wife. You should know that, I'm the hot one in the marriage. She wasn't even of my liking, but that baby girl stole my heart. We lived a happy life, or so I thought, for the next eight years. With ups and downs like any other marriage. My second son came to be an amazing boy. Everything was great and incredible. I was going crazy. It was too much happiness. But now, I doubt it was true. We enjoyed our marriage until, I don't know why, I checked her phone. And everything went downhill. She was always talking to random men in a sexual way. While I worked 12 hours daily for her to accomplish and finish nursing school. I was saving for our weeding. I decided to confront her. Well, she denied everything. But I saw the proof. The hotel rooms, the messages etc. All while we were married. And she had the audacity to say it was all for romance. The romance she never had. She assured me it was just talking. Nothing physical. Even though the messages say a totally different thing. At this point, there were only one thing I could do. Cover my eyes and play stupid. I got depressed to the point of getting close to losing my job and everything. I feel like writing about it helps me somehow. I need advice. What do I need to do? She keeps telling me to try, but I feel if there are no consequences, she will lose respect for me. Even though I think she never really had even a dust of particle of respect for me at all. Since she did what she did after all my sacrifices. I need advice from someone please. Please click the link in the description now to activate your internal wealth DNA. TNT Don said. Bruh, seek a lawyer and file for divorce. Underscore Katrinchin underscore commented. This story was so hard to read. So you saw a woman that was a charity case. You didn't even really like her in the beginning. And just wanted to help the baby. And you don't think she's hot. She feels like she owes you going to school, because she knows you don't find her pretty and only took her in, because you felt sorry for her. Now you complain she equally doesn't like you, and flirts with other guys that find her actually attractive? What a surprise. Sure, cheating is wrong, no doubt about it, but what were you expecting? That love arises out of her, knowing that you only pitied her from the beginning? And say you are, the attractive one in the relationship. Your relationship is a farce, it was one from the beginning. And you started it. Check if the child is yours and end the relationship. You clearly both don't love each other. And never have as far as I understand this post. Stop wasting the time of both of you. Hey hi ha ho commented. You can't live with her. No respect. Don't be a hero. Also check to make sure your child is yours biologically. Cultural underscore cap 1776 commented. It is really hard to find out how a single word like, hi, to start a conversation with another man, is able to cause so much pain and damage. To the point where that, hi, will become a morning, good night how er day, until her husband is not longer the key player. And that role is given to another person. Literally betting your family and home for romance to me is not worth it. And yes I am getting divorced thanks for the support. I have been depressed for a while now. 
Overall Scholar 4676 commented. She already doesn't have respect for you. It's time to think of yourself and leave her. She used you. Do you want the rest of your life this way? Quote and Bubi commented. First, collect all the information before going to a lawyer. Get yourself tested for any STD. Check if your son is yours, and then get consultations from a family lawyer. After this, you can decide by yourself which way is yours. My recommendation, do not stay because of kids. Good luck. You should never help someone who did not ask for it. It usually backfires. What did you think of this first story? I'll be happy to read your comments. And now before going any further with the video, make sure to click the link in the description to discover the key to winning a man's love, attention, and total devotion for life. Story 2 published by you, Box Princess. Should I confront someone to get information? So my fiancé and I have been together for 7 years now. However, a few months ago I found out he was having an emotional affair with a coworker. I was told it ended. And since it was the first time something like this has happened, I chose to forgive. However, new information has come to light, and I now know it was going on for longer even after I found out. I no longer believe him when he says they never kissed or did anything. I've gone through his Google Maps and there's very little sketchiness that doesn't add up, everything else does. I know the affair partner's friend and want to ask her if she knows anything about the affair. This friend told both of them that they shouldn't be doing the affair. And it was not fair to me. I'm thinking she has a better moral compass and might tell me if I ask. What do you guys think? F smirks. Ill ya 10 h Just confront and ask the AP. She may not even be aware you exist, as your fiancé may have been lying about you. I would wager something that they have slept together. You are being snookered. What you should really do is dump him and get on with your life. There are people with solid character out there. Box Princess commented. She has me blocked and is a coward. That's why I want to talk to her friend. When I found out the first time, I confronted her. But I came to her nicely and said I wasn't angry with her. I just wanted to know what was going on. And if they had done anything sexual. I have some conditions that would be affected greatly by any STDs. I just wanted to know the truth. She told me there was a huge misunderstanding and nothing has happened. Promptly blocked me on all platforms, even though I didn't have her friended, and I keep all of my stuff private. That was in the beginning of August. I know they were talking, texting, and having lunch and secret meetings through early December. I know for the most part it would be hard for them during that time since he'd come home straight after work, but before that. I don't know. The maps can be a little unreliable and can be edited. But I have proof in no of two times it says he leaves the bar for anywhere from 40 minutes to 2 hours going somewhere else and then going back to the bar for 30 minutes or less, almost like dropping someone off. So I don't know. Winterfront1431 commented. Honey, you need to leave. He's going to keep doing this because he sees you have zero respect for yourself. He is still carrying on after you found out. I think it's time you kick him out and find someone better. You're wasting your better years on a man who couldn't care less about you. Is this the same guy that cheated on you two years ago? So it's not the first time is it? Dude. Get your ducks in a row, and leave. What you find out doesn't change anything. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Especially since you're not in a long marriage, dead bedroom situation. So there are no circumstances that should make him cheat. And dear God, do not have kids with this fool. And now with that being said, if you want to hear another awesome Reddit story, check out one of these videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Until next time. And if you want to receive a free sketch of your soulmate, Click the link in the description now.